For the casual race fans, you may not notice how often the super motocross riders are sitting or standing on their bikes each lap. There are reasons for that choice and consequences as far as lap times and the physical toll it takes on the body. Today we're at the Kawasaki Test Track in Corona, California, demonstrating the difference between sitting and standing on a jump coming out of a turn. One of the biggest factors is how high you need to jump in the air and also how far you need to go. When you have a little bit of a bigger jump, say a big triple right out of a corner, the option would be to sit down. It's what we refer to as a seat bounce. Physics, basically. You sit down, you give it gas, and that thing catapults you in the air, and you can go further and higher than you could ever do standing up. Sometimes you can seat bounce sideways to where maybe you can scrub better whenever you are sitting down, but uh, if you have a track that has a bunch of ruts and you have to hit the jump straight and you can't slide, I think uh, seat bouncing is obviously gonna be a little bit slower than standing and pushing through uh, the jump with your legs. Sitting down physically is going to be a lot easier on your body. Think about it. When you stand coming out of a turn, you're having to do a squat every time using the muscles in your legs. You're getting on the gas, you have all the G-forces, all the power kind of pulling you down towards the seat. And so standing up can be a little bit more difficult on the body but on a jump like this, a little double like we have here today, sitting down is 100% going to be the slower option. By standing up, I'm able to go faster into the obstacle, I'm able to stay lower on the jump, carry more speed through the start of the rhythm section. It's all about making those decisions when you're in the heat of the moment, when you're in battle, in the race, and that's one of the reasons why fitness and strength play such a part in the outcome of a Supercross race.